In this video, we are going to cover how to access Azure Key Vault using Python SDK. Before going into the code, let's get some idea how is it going to be achieved using this diagram. Key Vault is going to be resided under Azure. This we have represented with this diagram. And after that, to access Key Vault, we are going to write code on our local machine, which is going to be written in Python. And because this is going to be on our local machine and the key vault is going to be on Azure platform. So we need to have some kind of credentials so that like we can access Azure key vault because we are going to access Azure key vault via our code. So we need service principle for that. We need to create a service principle on Azure AD so that like we can get the required credential and using code we can access key vault. Also, we need to install some of the libraries so that like we can access key vault. So Azure identity is going to be one of the packages that we need to install along with Azure Key Vault secrets and to access this Key Vault thing we are going to rely on secret client. So having this in mind let's go to our portal Azure portal so that like we can uh, create a required services and after that we can go over our code. So I'm in Azure portal now. If you want to get started with Azure platform and if you want to have some kind of services then first of all actually we have to create a resource group. And as you can see, like I have already created few of the groups over here, but let me create a new one. Yeah. So let me create a resource group first. So I already have two created and I'm in free trial. So let me create a, another one. It's going to be free trial and I can name it uh, RG as your, this is going to be for demo purpose, US East and then validation passed and I can create a resource group. Okay. Now for all of our services which we are going to procure, it is going to be under this RZ Azure Common Demo Resource Group. So this is the first part. Second thing what we need to have, we can create Key Vault. So here we do have one created, but for this one we are going to create a new one. So that like later on we can access it via code. Resource Group is going to be this Common Demo one. And under this we can name our Key Vault. Here I can name it. And this is fine. It is to retain deleted walls. That is also fine. I can just review and now I can create it. Okay. Now this create button is visible. I just clicked on it. As of now, deployment is in progress. So let's wait for a few seconds. Yeah, it has been created now. Your deployment is complete. Here also you will get notification deployment succeeded. Now I will go to this resource, common demo. So now we need to create our secrets under this key vault which we have created. For creating secrets, you can navigate to this secret section and here we can create a secret which later on we can access it via code. But before creating a secret, you can see we are getting this error. This operation is not allowed by rule based access control. So even if you try to create a secret, if, if you try to put some value over here, once you hit on create, it will give you an error. So before, you know, creating a secret, we need to give the required permission and that we can provide using this access control IM. So just click on this and then you can go to role assignment and then you can click on add role assignments over here. And here you can see a lot of things related to this key vault. So one is key vault reader, read metadata of key vault and certificate keys and secrets. This is also one of the role key vault contributor is also one of the role. So there are a lot of roles you can see related to key vault. Admin is also one of the thing. So here what we can do, we can get this key vault admin access. We will click on next and then you can click on select members. I will give myself this access and then hit select and then I will try to add this role assignment. Now it has been added. So hopefully if I go to secrets, I shouldn't be getting that error now. Probably I can just refresh it and yeah, you can see over here uh, that particular error has been gone. It means I can now just go ahead and create a secret. So I will click on this and just for the demos, I will give example key and I will give example pass and all this is fine. So I will just go ahead and create it. Now using code, our motive would be to access this example key and get its required secret value. When we are writing production ready code, then Normally we just want to store all the keys and everything 
in a secured environment and then just want to access it so that's where key vault can help you out all your keys and everything can be stored over here and then we can try to access those keys via code now if you notice in this diagram we have created this key vault over here what it was required under azure but now the next thing is that if you want to access this key vault we need to have service principal access as well so that we can get the required credentials and then can access this key vault so here just wanted to show you one more thing if you click on this view sample code then it will give you you know some sample code that you can utilize and here you can see for the credential they are using the default azure credential but this code will only work if you're running this in the azure environment in our use case what exactly is happening we want to access everything outside of azure environment so we want to do local development and just want to connect it to this azure platform externally so if you want to do that then you need to have a service principal request created so how are we going to create it so let's go over there and as we have seen in our diagram this service principle needs to be created in azure active directory we will go to our home screen and then we will click on this azure active directory and here you have to click on app registrations so once you click on app registration you have to click on new registration and here you need to give a name for your service principle so i will give it speed is your common demo and account in this organization directory only i will go with the default one and i will try to register it so once your service principle is created here you can see we do have a display name object id tenant id all these are important and here we have the credentials also so what you need to do you need to click on the credentials so that we can add secrets and here you can see certificate and secrets we don't have anything as of now so i need to click on this as well it's a description so i can just leave it for now i can just click on add and it will you know add this secrets over here so you can see the secret id and the value and now our service principle is created which can be utilized in our code now the thing is you have created the service principle you have created the key vault and everything part is once you create a service principle we need to give access to the keyword so that like keyword can recognize all these credentials so if you're trying to access anything using the service once to keyword so keyword should be able to recognize this client id so for that again we need to go to keyword so again we will go to our keyword and we can access keyword from here i will go to iam so again i will click on add role assignment here actually we are just trying to read the value so here i can see keyword reader it will read the metadata of keyword in certificate keys and secret if you want to go at more granular level where you just want to give a, a particular access then we do have this key keyword secret user also which read secret contents and i guess this should work for us we will see like if it is not going to work for us then we can switch to keyword reader or some other access model let me select this one and and go to next and here i will try to give access to not to my id but my service principal so i will search for service principal click on this select it yeah it should be done now now our service principal also has access to this keyword now the only thing what we need to do is write a code so that like we can get its value so what exactly we need to do let me go to the code i have already written a sample code you can see first of all as i said we need to have some packages is installed so azure identity is going to come from azure identity so we we can install it using pip install azure identity and then this keyword secrets is going to help us in this azure keyword secret so this is also can be installed using pip install and here you can see why we need identity because whatever service principle we have created and whatever credentials we have we are going to access it using client secret credential as i have shown you earlier if you click on the azure platform there they are using the default credential which is going to work because everything is going to be executed within the azure platform but now because we're trying to access it via code so we need to have that service principle and just to get all those credentials we need to have this client secret credentials and then secret client which is a part of this key vault secrets using secret clients we are going to access the key vault this is also required and then after that i am just using this native to python because i just want to access all these values from my environment file which i have created over here and here i have mentioned the azure client id the tenant id secret and all those things 
and now this client id 10 and 10 secret we need to get it from here we have created a service principle so i will go to my service principle again yeah so i will go to azure active directory and then i will go to app registration all applications i will click on common demo and here you can see the client id so i will just copy this and i will just paste it over here okay the tenant id i can get it from here so i can just click on this again paste it over here then i need a client secret so for that i need to click on this and then here we have a value okay so i should have copy pasted this one but i forgot it so and there is no way i can access it now i can just delete this one for now and i can create a new one right i can just copy it directly from here okay and then there is a azure world url and just to get this azure world url what we can do we can go to our vault right and here we are getting this vault url right so i can just again copy it from here i can paste it here so at least now i have everything ready to load all this values from our environment variable we can use this from .nav import load env method once you load it it will automatically just read the environment file so you need to have this .env created and then you can put all this value so once you do this like you will have all the client id tenant secret and vault url accessible and after that you need to give your secret name secret name information you can get from the key vault here you can go to secret and uh, here you can see example key right so what i can do i can just give the secret example key this is going to be a secret name ultimately what you what we want to access okay whatever key we have given we need to get the corresponding value from the code so the first part is uh, we have to create a credentials how are we going to create the credentials credentials are going to be created using this client secret credentials method which we have imported from the azure identity so client secret credentials is going to be here and under this we just need to pass the client id tenant id and the secret which we have put it in the environment variable but instead of hard coding it we are using it via environment variable and then just ending it over here so once our credentials are created then we need to utilize the secret client which is coming from the azure key vault secrets in the secret client we need to pass the vault url whatever actually we have we have put over here we need to take the vault url and under credentials we need to pass the credentials which we have created so here if you see this is the secret client here we have the vault url and we have a parameter for credential once we we have this what we are assuming okay now we should be able to access to our keyword and just to get the values out of this we can just utilize this get secret method so under this we just need to pass a secret name which is going to be example key and then it should be able to print the value for that secret value and let's try to run this if everything goes well then it should be able to print the secret value over here okay so let's try to run this now okay so i'm getting this error while running the code because it is expecting the tenant id to be this one and i have given something else this is f8 and this is starting with 3a so let me just reconfirm service principle this is on this particular tenant id okay so i have taken the object id in posted row over there but whereas i should be able to take this tenant id so let me just uh, replace this value with the correct one and hopefully we should be able to access uh, the code now so let me rerun it and as you can see the code ran successfully and we are able to access the secret value so here I have given the example key, the password I have given is example pass and we are able to access it now. So that's all for this video. Thank you for watching.